everyone, Patrick here. So it is another wonderful evening. I'm literally again going out for a few minutes, hopefully to catch uh, some interesting footage. Again, we're in that golden hour that we hear about in photography and in video. I'm just heading out to one of the little marine areas, uh, perhaps do a few fly under the bridges and see how they look because it's just right and i'm hoping that uh, i can i can experiment a little bit made some changes as you know recently to my gimbal on my fandom 4 so i'm very interested in seeing if it's helping because a few of you guys have recommended to me that i slow it down a bit so that i can get a little bit uh, smoother footage in my pan and tilts uh, when I'm using the gimbal so that's what I'm gonna try and do hopefully the Sun won't go down too fast I should be there in about 10 minutes that's all I can really say until now until I I finish uh, shooting a bit so hang in there and I'll catch you later bye bye GoPro, you can stop recording. Okay, see that bridge there? I'm actually going to try and fly it through it. Now I've changed the, it to the ATTI mode so that the obstacle avoidance won't really be showing. So, yeah, the sun's going down, so I might be able to get a few shots. Let's see how it goes. Again, I went out. I let all my batteries run out. Again. I'll never learn. I mean, this thing's pretty good. Don't get me wrong. This is the old G7X. I did a review back in the day. But oh, I keep forgetting. It only records about 45 minutes of video. And, you know, I'm farting about that much that... I end up running out right when I've got something really important to say. <sighs> anyway, today has been full of uh, surprises. Uh, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm keen to show you what I did because I actually did something that I've been trying to do for a long time and that was to really get a good uh, under a bridge uh, without it stalling with the, the obstacle avoidance and you know I'm, I'm, I'm getting more comfortable with the whole drone uh, given as I'm getting it out a bit more but I don't know what happened the first time that that it uh, it was going under the bridge which I'm going to show you in just a second it um it stopped and, and I had this I had this on on, on A which you know 
I don't know if it's going to focus in. I, I thought that this was all you had to do, was to put this bad boy here, the ATTI mode, the PSA, I had it off, but it still stopped. I brought it around and I looked at it again. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? I, 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 I've said it on many other videos. I'm not an expert, nor do I claim to be, but I like to think that, I mean, the basics by this stage I should have pretty down pat, but apparently not. <sighs> Something wasn't right, and now I'm going to have to Google it all again and try and work it out. Well, those of you who are more experienced flyers than myself, please give me the, the quick way that I can turn it off. I had it turned off when I was inside the castle in Monet Castle, which was a, a, a recent video which I did, and I was able to get really close to the walls without any problems. Now, I've learned a lot since then, but still, something happened there, it did stop, um, and then I had to go back and refocus and get my ideas together and then go through it and get the nice, the nice um, sunset. So, in the end it was great, in the end it was really good, uh, and I, I, I hope you enjoy the footage as much as I did getting it. It was a kind of a, a, a spur of the moment thing. The weather uh, has been really good and I was able to get out in the golden hour and get the sun as it was going down, go through the bridge, go over it and get the sunset. So I hope you enjoy it and yeah, I'll chat to you again. Bye bye. I'll get the hang of this yet. Bye.